Hi students, welcome to another session. So far we are dealing with adolescent stage in human development. Okay, let us see and continue the session. In adolescence, we have seen the physical development, cognitive development, and we are dealing, we are discussing forming an identity. So in that forming an identity, we'll continue in this session and see what are the challenges in adolescence period. We have discussed all these things, uh, cognitive development, physical development, and how uh, they itself uh, has a factor in uh, identifying themselves and all these things. And actually we have been discussing with forming an identity. Here, if you can see the points uh, discussed in this session, in this slide, in forming an identity, like as discussed in the earlier sessions that adolescents have particularly a state where they are identified as children and as adults. They have the capability of taking decisions individually and also dependent on parents or peers. So this makes a little difficult situation for the, the young minds to enter a state of confusion and also identify themselves as the children or as an adult. And this teen age or the adolescent period of generally like 11 to 21, or a, you can call it as a transformative period from children to adult is the adolescent period. In this, even though there are a lot of physical changes and the thinking patterns According to PRJ, Cognitive Development Theory, and the thinking, the co co another cognitive theory such as developmental theory, you can say it has an Eric Erickson theory. And in such a situation, we can see these individuals in a state of transformation from child to adult. In these transformation, there are physical development, cognitive development, and also the development of self from dependent to independent. You must have sought answers to the questions such as, who am I? Who am I? Like identifying or relating the individual. Which subjects should I study? Like for the career or uh, there are a lot of subjects which makes us interest and which uh, we can make a career or interest into. Do I believe in God? These are all hypothetical questions which at any stage these are, these are dependent on the self-knowledge, the experiences that the individual get. The answers to all those questions involve the quest to define one's sense of self or the search for identity. Identity is who you are and what your values, commitments, beliefs are. These are the things which we discussed. It is about the knowledge, experiences, and the decision making in the past, etc. make us the, the capability to take these decisions and framing the identity. The primary task of adolescence is to establish an identity separate from parents. Like as they come from the parents, like yeah, biologically, and even they are dependent on parents and financially, and the parents help these individuals to make or grow themselves into a separate individual out of the family even the dependence on either decision or biological or the needs 
all these will be separated and the individual makes himself independent and identify himself as individually during adolescence a detachment process and enable this detachment process definitely the parents and the peers both beliefs that are uniquely his or her own in the process of achieving an identity the adolescent could experience conflict with parents and within herself or himself even yesterday we discussed this slide and in detail we discussed a few more examples this identity uh, making and even we discussed uh, this erickson theory those adolescents who can cope with conflicting identities develop a new sense of self those who can cope up with these difficult situation this transforming phase will develop into a, a new sense of self adolescents who are not able to cope that's what we uh, this identity versus role confusion this is the state uh we discussed this erickson eight stages can lead to individuals isolating from the society peers family and uh, they lose identity from the crowd adolescents on one hand may desire independence but may also be afraid of it they, like they are dependent and they also at the same time they want independence they are dependent on parent but they want to make decisions individually rapid fluctuations between self confidence and insecurity are typical of this stage adolescents may at one time complete of being treated like a baby whereas on other hand they seek comfort on depending on parents so these examples these explanations would give you that there is some dependency and independency where these children uh, are seeking an identity in all searching for continuity and sameness in oneself greater responsibility and trying to get a clear sense of who one is that is an identity the formation of identity during adolescence is influenced by several factors the cultural background family societal value values ethnic background socio economic status all prevail upon adolescence so all these factor these five factors will have influence on will on the adolescence in search of an identity in the a place place or identity in society family relationship become less important as the adolescents spend more time outside the home Uh, like with friends and develops a strong need for peer support this peer support is also a support of other gender they try to identify themselves as individual they want a separate existence in this world separate identity individuality decision maker all this are the qualities or characteristics of the, this adolescent increased interactions with peer provide them with opportunities for refining their skills social skills and trying out different social behaviors so it can be i think we have a conflict of smoking uh, these we will be discussing either you have the choice peers and parents are dear forces peers that is friends and parents are forces having major influence on adults adolescents at times conflicting situations with parents lead to increased identification with peers but generally parents and peers serve complementary functions and fulfill different needs of adolescents occasional commitment is another factor influencing adolescent identity formation occasional is like work or career the job but uh, where these people can identify the question what are you going to be when you grow up 
who you want to be what why what are you which type of job the role it is like role able to think about the future and to be able to set realistic and achievable you can call it as smart goals smart goals specific measurable attainable reachable and time bound these smart goals can help you make the decisions effectively in some culture freedom is given to the young people for example in the earlier slides we have discussed the nutrition for a good family financially uh, comfortable family girls would get nutritious benefits on the other hand in some areas girls from a little economic background with lesser economic background will get, will be nutritional deficient these are all factors which influence uh, these adolescents to frame an identity or grow in the society here parents decision is likely to be accepted by decision by children what has been experience, your experience while making a choice in the selection of subjects Uh, this is like a question for you career counseling like this is like a question for you like what are the who are all the people which influenced your decision making generally parents will influence the children to take oh, this subject you, you this career would be very very comfortable very cozy uh, etc peers will be another people where you have influence on but what type of things which affected your decision what is your experience just try to recall career counseling in schools offer information regarding appraisal of the students for various courses and jobs to provide guidance in making a decision about career choices careers is like generally there is big five personality theory big five personality theory holland code holland code ocean o c e a n these type of uh, personality tests will give you where you fit into and awareness a good knowledge of jobs what type of new careers are coming up will help you make good choices in uh, making a career some major concerns concerns of adolescents what are the major concerns in adolescents like in the earlier we discussed about the framing an identity as adults when we reflect on our adolescent years and recall our conflicts uncertainties occasional loneliness group pressures we feel it was definitely a vulnerable period like it is the most difficult period we have uh, gone through so this gives us an experience to help the these adolescents to take up decisions smoothly and make this transformation a good transformative period irrespective of their pressures biologically and socially during adolescence peer influence new gain feel freedom unresolved problems may create difficulties for many of you what are that peer influence you may be like there are physical differences or uh, thinking difference says between these these individuals between your friends but you should be aware of what are all these things are new gain freedom like you will be an individual you will be having some independence from uh, your parents or from the society uh, or the transformation from schooling to college all these will have influence on you and they they, they can create some 
unresolved queries where you have no decision no idea to take any decision will make it difficult for you conforming to peer pressures can be both positive and negative peers can sometimes help you but all the decisions cannot be taken uh, based on your friends adolescents are often confronted with decisions regarding smoking drugs alcohol breaking parental rules breaking parental rules or institutional rules all these will be but we have to think whether the decision taken will have a good impact on us or the people involved there should not be any difficulty to be caused for the persons around us these decisions are taken without much regard to the effect they can have adolescents may face periods of uncertainty loneliness self doubt anxiety and concern about themselves and their future they are also likely to experience excitement joy and feelings of competence as they overcome the developmental challenges overcoming developmental challenges is either both physically and and uh, cognitively like thinking you will now read about some major challenges faced by adolescents like delinquency substance abuse and eating disorders these three are major difficulties delinquency is, is related to behavior substance is uh, abuse is related to uh, the smoking and drug and then eating disorders are likely to be either gender wise these let us discuss what is there in these things so first one is delinquency delinquency refers to variety of behaviors ranging from socially unacceptable they fight they shout with parents legal offenses they can like bike speeding uh, in the terms of uh, the female gender there can be uh, physical abuse or uh, sexual abuse or they may have wrong steps some criminal acts etc Exa- uh, there are another uh, examples like proncy true ansi running away from home stealing burglary for financial dependence these are all uh, see vandalism running away from home. these are all financial dependence generally these uh, this age true ansi is like escaping from responsibility escaping from responsibility like going to school for as a child or a transformative individual you have your your responsibility to attend this academic course adolescents with delinquency and behavioral problems tend to have negative self identity they they become anti social like they behave unacceptable for the social conditions decrease in trust and low levels of achievement delinquency is often associated with low parental support inappropriate discipline family discord like family discord means uh, people will be left left from home or uh, there is no caring okay often adolescents from communities characterized by poverty unemployment have and having feelings of alienation from the middle class perform anti social acts there are some conditions in society like poverty unemployment alienation like staying away from communities or social conditions these are all difficulties faced by the individual but it is we also have to note that 
these also make uh, the individual to take decisions which are difficult for their existence however most delinquent children do not remain delinquent forever they have change with some experience with some societal exposure they can take good decisions from transforming from bad to good change in their peer group becoming more aware of social responsibilities that social act. developing feelings of self worth imitating positive behaviors of the role models breaking negative attitudes overcoming poor self concept help reduction of delinquent behavior these are the conditions which result in delinquency these are the steps to be followed to in to decrease delinquency and become successful transformative individual so next to it is substance abuse adolescents years are especially vulnerable to smoking alcohol drug abuse some adolescents take recourse to smoking and drug as a way to coping with stress they feel like it is a stress buster even though it is like gaming uh, there are lot of things uh, these individuals indulge into to uh, to uh, to oh, you can say it as to express to express their uh, intensity of performance this can interfere with the development of coping skills and responsible decision making the reason for smoking and drug use could be peer pressure adolescents need to be accepted by a group like i want to be your friend i want to be a gang a so a gang or a group of people for a support it is like a mutual support uh, or opposite gender it is like uh, where the parents there are some situations where they feel like sharing to their peers like same age group people so these are all the things which uh, make uh, one of the substance abuse as one of the difficult factors which has a great influence on adolescents challenges the addict the addictive power of nicotine make it difficult to stop smoking it has been found that adolescents who are more vulnerable to drugs alcohol nicotine use or impulsive aggressive anxious depressive unpredictable have low self esteem and low expectation for achievement they go on temporary benefits these are temporary benefits peer pressure and the need to be with their peer group make the adolescent either go along with their demands to experiment with drugs alcohol and smoking or be ridiculed again it's a peer pressure to have some support etc all these are which related to take choices just let them try try but they they fall into difficult situations drug use if continued long enough can lead to physiological dependency that is addiction to drugs that is substance abuse alcohol or nicotine may seriously jeopardize and means confuse the rest of adolescent lives it will completely disturb the life and make it difficult to have a comfortable life positive relationship with parents the solutions like parents that is it should be positive peers siblings and adolescents play an important role in preventing drug use there should be good behavior acceptable behavior discussion the home should be comfortable to discuss their problems these individual problems with the parents in india a successful anti drug program in the society for theater in education program in new delhi so there is a program in new delhi which is anti drug program they help people overcome these difficulties it uses street performance 
to entertain people between 13 to 25 years of age while teaching them how to say no to drugs even there is a day celebrated as i think uh, anti drug abuse say no to drugs the united nations international drug control program undp united nations international drug control program has chosen the program as an example to be adopted by other ngos non governmental organizations in the region in india to encourage children to stay away from drugs eating disorders adolescents obsession with the self living in fantasy world and peer comparisons lead to certain conditions where they become obsessed with their own bodies it is like body defamation so, uh, self body defamation i am not like others as said this physical growth is unique to individuals anorexia nervosa is eating disorder that involves relentless pursuit of thinness <laughs> like a nerve through starvation they do not eat food they feel like they will be obese it is quite common to see adolescents eliminate certain foods from their diets or to eat slimming foods only that help reduce weight etc this is like during adolescence to have an identity like uh, Uh, like role models with what they choose it is like nutritious food versus fat or something they, they feel like everything uh, by eating they are gaining weight but that is very temporary phase where they after certain amount of age they will have good uh like these hormonal changes will have some standard and then the body will become normal but these people do not have uh, a good opinion or good knowledge regarding this development physical development and mental development during adolescence the media also project thinness as most desirable image even it is not fairness and thinness fairness and thinness as ideal form of an image but we have to accept that such fashionable image of thinness leads to anorexia nervosa anorexia nervosa is one type of eating disorder there are other eating disorders we have to we can discuss in the later session bulimia nervosa bulimia is another form of eating disorder in which the individual follows a binge and purge eating pattern like sometimes they eat a very large amounts of food sometimes there is no like i said in the nerve functioning either shoot or no function or no non function the bulimic goes on an eating binge then purges by self induced vomiting or using a laxative at times alternating it with fasting it is vomiting and fasting they eat high and at the same time they they fast are also they spill out food anorexia nervosa and bulimia are primarily female disorders more common in urban families yes this is also mostly female to become thin thinness and fairness as said thinness and fairness they set themselves some boundaries to for eating food so that's all for the session uh, we have discussed fo forming an identity and uh, we have discussed the certain problems like delinquency substance abuse and eating disorders so this is the adolescence stage of development and then in the next session we will meet up with another topic that is adult adulthood and old age Thank you so much if you have any queries please write to the mail